Welcome Capricorn, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of December the 9th to the 16th, 2019. <clears throat> again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing. And if you're new to me, be sure to click that bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when these are posted and out here on YouTube for you to view. This is a collective general reading, which means not every card will resonate with every one of you Capricorns, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I invite you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful Capricorns, is posted below this video. We're doing the Celtic Cross again. This is the all-over energy that's crowning your week. This is the energy coming in below you, the energy coming in above you, the energy coming in behind you, and the energy coming in towards you. You have been given the wheel, and this is often, or pardon me, the world. And this is all about happy endings, okay? This is all about Archangel Michael being there to protect you and bringing you in what you need and knowing that you're all going to be okay and you're coming full circle. And this is all about your spiritual growth and your insight at this time. The world is your oyster. So congratulations. You've done a wonderful job, Capricorn. There may have been a project or a situation in your life that now has come to a happy conclusion. And there is a sense of completion and satisfaction. Know that it, you know, it may, it may be time to move on to something new. But it's all right to pause and enjoy this amazing moment. So savor the moment. Uh, commend yourself. Pat yourself on the back. This is full circle. Something's ended, completed, and it's been successful. Your work with Archangel Michael has brought you to a new level of spiritual growth and evolution because of this. You're at a place of enlightenment and a profound understanding of the universe. Remember to speak words of gratitude, not only, you know, uh, to your family, but to your friends as well. And you know what? The divine will recognize that and will bring in their help. You're at the right place at the right time, Capricorn. Know this, okay? And you're coming full circle. This is all about excellent and happy endings and receiving perhaps an award. Maybe you're getting a promotion. Maybe you're receiving an actual certificate of recognition, a reward. Some of you may be uh, also traveling and you may be traveling internationally. This is a card of travel as well. So... Now coming in below you, you've been given the hangman, and this is a card in Angel Tarot called Perspective. And this is telling me that there's a better way to do things, okay? I want you to pause uh, for reflection and insight, okay? Dare to be different. This is about taking your time, uh, you know, with reflection, but also collecting any, uh, any important information or data that you need to retain uh, within your memory bank so that you can apply that to some endeavor, some event, something that you're looking forward to, a goal. You know, you'll probably notice that your past approach is no longer working for you, for some of you. But, you know, the all of our energy here is the world saying it's going to, okay? So, you know, you need to look at things from a different perspective. While this time of reflection is temporary, it is also extremely important to your spiritual evolution and your growth um, right now. So, you know, it also indicates that your heart may be leading you to perform a selfless act of kindness for someone else, and that's beautiful. This form of compassion is always rewarded, and your angels will be standing by your side. Remember that you give the world your greatest gift by being true, your true, unique, electric self. You know, this is time for pause, as I said, in reflection. You know, time might be moving slowly right now for you. You may be at a period now where you completed something full circle, and now you're just taking your time and, you know, just resting up okay um you know you may be coming up while you're while you're in limbo thinking of unconventional ideas and don't ever be afraid capricorn dare to be different coming in now above you the the beautiful card here the empress and she's been coming up a lot in the high priestess in these readings so this is about you realizing this is the right time to act on your plans, okay? Move forward. And, you know, you've probably had your limbo time here with a hangman. You're going to make things come full circle, and now you need to act up your plans. You know, your creativity, and you're very creative, Capricorn. You're wonderful communicators, and you're going to get rewarded for that. 
in the form of, of almost luxurious resort, uh, you know, resources coming into you. So, you know, this, this card encourages you to be creative. Uh, Capricorn, your artistic talents alongside with your nurturing instincts give you the ability to manifest beautiful and amazing work. Think of this card as representing Mother Nature, the Empress of Creativity. Your plans will flourish and grow as long as you give them your devoted attention and love. If your focus is upon family matters, such as relationships or children or pregnancy, you can be assured of a happy outcome coming to you. Likewise, in your career endeavors will also improve successfully. And this whole thing talks about this with the world card and for the all over energy here. So your interest in beautiful luxuries or artful pursuits will be well rewarded at this time. Concerns regarding physical or emotional well-being fade away. While your ability to nurture others is wonderful, don't forget to also lovingly care for yourself, okay? It's time to move forward, Capricorn, towards your prosperity. And there may be a gift in growing things right now. You may want to take up some, some form of plants uh, and bring them into your home. Um, you know, this is also the card of the Empress represents motherhood. Someone may be becoming a mother, conceiving, or wanting to mother someone. Okay, so you may be wanting to take someone under your wing. But remember, determination is what's going to get things done here for you, Capricorn. Coming in here with the Queen of Wands, this is all about knowing that you can do everything right now. You can do anything right now. You have the power and the ability. You don't stand in your fear. You look towards with courage. And, you know, this black cat at her feet, there's no intimidation there. She doesn't even know that that cat's there. Okay, so go after what you want, Capricorn. The You know, you have the ability to tra attract people that are going to be in your circle to help you, help you move towards your goals successfully. Coming in towards you, you've been given the Knight of Cups. This is the Knight of Raphael. This is your knight in shining armor. This is the love coming in. This is about a committed romantic relationship for some of you. <clears throat> this is also about some of you being swept off your feet, whether this is male or female energy coming in. Okay, situations and topics that make your heart sing, just like love does. So this could be about a new endeavor, a new job, a new project, as well as, you know, something that you're, a goal you're working towards that's going to bring you in busy. We've talked about this here, that you're going to see the fruits of your labor come in. You're, you're stepping up now. You have that ability and these rewards are definitely coming towards you. Beautiful. I want you to be careful. Uh, this is kind of like the worry card. You know, you're letting little things pick away and knit away at you and it stresses you out, Capricorn. So let it go. But so, you may feel that someone is stealing something from you, taking away something from you as well. Stand up for your ground and don't allow that worry to eat away at your day, uh, at your beautiful soul level. There, This man may come into your life uh, he may be already in your life. He could be, um, you know, he could be some dignitary figure. He could be a lawyer. He could be uh, in the uh, the clergy. Uh, he could be a brother, a father, an uncle, someone that you or your spouse or your closest relationship friend, soulmate, <clears throat> twin flame. But he's very honest. And this is why he's dressed the way he is. He's an open book. He will tell you black and white. There'll be no gray matter, Capricorn. You can ask this man anything and he will be completely honest and upfront with you. Trust him. Trust whatever he tells you to be truth. Time's ticking on. Some of you may be at, on a deadline. Some of you may be pushing to the end of the month to get something done. And others know that time continues to move. Okay, it doesn't stand still anymore. The hangman is here, but I do see that, you know, you're going to be moving forward now. Uh, you're going to be moving forward in, a, in the direction that you are planning on going. This woman here, she's someone who also cares for you, this female energy. She may be your sister, your mother, uh, you know, an aunt, a good friend, uh, your lover, uh, your spouse. She, but she may be somebody new coming into some of your lives where she's going to be offering you her hand in friendship, in in affection, in love, and she's there to help you. She seems to be an advocate for you. She's going to be in your end of the ring to, to defend you, to represent you, uh, to be there for you. Trust her. She's kind and loving and giving. Coming in with the tea leaf cards, you've been given the kite, Capricorn. You're going on a vacation. Look at you. We said this about the world card. We said you may be going on a trip and there's confirmation. Enjoy. And of course, it is the month of traveling for those that want to go on a vacation or they're going to spend Christmas with their family and loved ones. You got the broken ring. Uh, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So some of you may be uh, walking away from something here. Uh, it, none of these other cards represented that, but maybe some of you have decided that you've done what you needed to do as full circle and 
uh, you, this is you're going to break free uh, and start fresh in the new year from either a job or a relationship. Know that it's the right move. You've been given the cane. Pay attention to your health. So don't push yourself so hard here, Capricorn. Okay. If you're getting any signs, go to the doctor. Don't play around with it yourself. Uh, be sure to take care of yourself. Treat your body like it's a temple because you only have one here in this lifetime, in this particular lifetime. So be kind to yourself. What is it you need to surrender to, Capricorn? You need to surrender the need to always be right. Hmm, now that's interesting. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve any conflicts and improve any relationships. So, you know what? Uh, probably you are right a lot of the time, Capricorn, because you're super, super, uh, you know, super, super extraordinary and, uh, and intelligent. Uh, and you are an intellect, so many of you Capricorns, but it's okay once in a while to step back. We don't always have to win the game of Monopoly, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean we're cheating. It just means we're being kind and understanding and open. Uh, and so I want you to not make a debate out of everything and have to be right. There's a way of correcting people. There's a way of putting out your information that is correct uh, without making the other individual feel slighted or always that they're in the wrong. Beautiful, beautiful message. Now, these are my focus cards. I decided I was told to use these by my Divine Spirit, so I made up some focus cards. There's 22 here, and I asked Divine Spirit and my guides to send me what is this one message that Capricorn needs to be focused on, and I only need one card here. Thank you very much. So, Capricorn, opportunity knocks. Wow, that's what you're going to be focused on. Things are happening for you. Doors are opening for you. Opportunities are coming in. Enjoy, whether they have to do with a romance whether they have to do in career, with your career and the money sector of your financial sector of your life. Uh, enjoy any endeavor that you're, you're going towards. You're going to see opportunities knocking, coming towards you. Be open and willing to accept them. Be beautiful. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, this is, is your message for today, uh, December the 9th to the 16th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, I leave you with this. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, my beautiful Capricorns, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon.